Uh, greetings. Uh, let us talk about uh, how to report findings when you see someone with Barrett's esophagus. Before we go there, let's review normal esophageal and GE junction anatomy. Three important readings you need to take. One is the level of the diaphragmatic hiatus. Second, squamo-columnar junction. And third, gastroesophageal junction. Squamo-columnar junction is identified by the transition between the squamous lining of the esophagus and the gastric lining of the stomach. Gastroesophageal junction is measured at the top end of the gastric folds where the folds end and the tubular esophagus starts. So three important measurements to keep in mind. Let's look at Barrett's esophagus. When the squamous lining of the esophagus the distal end is replaced by a columnar lining and on biopsy it shows intestinal metaplasia then you diagnose someone as having Barrett's esophagus. There are several measurements you need to take when you do endoscopy in a patient with Barrett's esophagus. Let's go step by step. First as you move or pull your scope back from the stomach, you look for the diaphragmatic hiatus, and in this case, it is at 40 centimeters. That is, at 40 centimeters, you see as the patient is more breathing in and out, there is going to be a little bit of uh, collapse of the uh, stomach, like a circular constriction. That's how you identify the diaphragmatic hiatus. As you pull your scope back, where the gastric folds end and the tubular esophagus starts, you take another measurement. And here it is about 37 centimeters. And that gives you a hiatal hernia of three centimeters. Next, as you pull your scope back from the top end of the gastric folds or GE junction to the squamous columnar junction, uh, here it is at 34 centimeters, and then that gives you the circumferential extent of Barrett's of three centimeters. And as you pull back further, the top of the Barrett's tongues is located at 33, 33 centimeters. That gives you the maximum extent of Barrett's at four centimeters. In summary, this patient has three centimeter circumferential extent or C3 and four centimeter maximum extent of Barrett's or M4. You put in the report as Barrett's esophagus, C3, and M4. It's also important to measure the hiatal hernia. So as you finish the report, you want to say the patient has a 3 centimeter hiatal hernia, a Barrett's esophagus of 3 centimeters circumferential extent, and 4 centimeters maximum extent. And get into the habit of uh, putting detailed report whenever you examine any patient. Thank you.